Chapter 8 Public and Private Restrooms No matter what season of the year, New York City has public restrooms available, which you can use while you're out there driving. Due to COVID-19 epidemic, some of these restrooms were closed. However, in June 22, New York entered Phase 2, reopening in-store retail, outdoor dining, and public playgrounds across the city. Some of these facilities are located at Madison Square Park in Manhattan, Plaza de las Americas in Upper Manhattan, Bryant Park in Midtown Manhattan, Fordham Plaza at the Bronx, Grand Army Plaza in Brooklyn, and Corona Plaza in Queens. At nycgovparks.org slash facilities slash bathrooms, you will be able to find the list of other parks with restrooms, or you can just click in the link at the end of the book. On this website you can search for yours nearest public restroom, you make your choice, click on it, and it will take you to the next page, where you will get the direction via Google Map. Once you click on it, it will show you the distance and the way. There are also apps like NYC Public Park Bathrooms, Sit or Squat, NY Restroom, and Restroom Finder, where you can find a nearby restroom. Download this apps because you never know when you may need them. Also, if you ask, you can use the bathrooms at any police department, hospitals, churches, DMV, courthouses, and many other privates or public facilities. I created a map with a list of all the police precincts, DMV, parks, and hospitals, where if you ask, you will be able to use the restrooms. To have access to my map, feel free to click here. Once you click on it, it will take you to the map site. Then, choose your nearest restroom. Using Google Map, it provides you with the distance and how to get there. Some private restrooms you can use are coffee shops, McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts, Burger King, White Castle, Starbucks, Taco Bell, Wendy's, KFC, and many others. A small purchase will do the trick. If you drive the night shift, you already know that releasing yourself, urinating, is much easier. But if you ever want to switch to the morning shift the map above will help you as well. If you are a coffee lover, you won't believe what I found out regard to coffee. Coffee is a great stimulant to wake up, but not very friendly if is drink while we are in the road. Have you ever asked yourself why just after a few minutes of drinking alcohol or coffee you have the tendency to want a bathroom break? This is due to the antidiuretic hormone also known as ADH. ADH hormone is made by the hypothalamus in the brain and stored in the posterior pituitary gland. In case of dehydration ADH is responsible for retaining water in the body. When dehydration occurs the hypothalamus releases ADH, which is carried to the kidney. The kidneys amount other organs main function is to monitor the body's fluid volume. So once the ADH reaches the kidneys it allows water to be reabsorbed back to the body by inducing aquaporins. So the less water in the kidneys means more aquaporins and more water means less aquaporins. So what does ADH has to do with coffee and alcohol? Well, coffee and alcohol inhibited the release of ADH by the hypothalamus gland so as a result there is no aquaporins to reabsorb water back to the body, so the amount of water in your pee increases, sending you straight to the restroom. So if you are a coffee lover while you are driving make sure to have a restroom nearby. When I no longer can find a nearby restroom, and I can't hold it anymore. This is the tactic I used, I drive to the nearest empty street. I double park my car next to a bigger car. Then I open both doors, I stand in the middle of it, to make it look like I'm cleaning the car. The doors and the other car serve me as fences, giving me the opportunity to urinate without nobody observing me. Hey, if it works for me, I don't see why it shouldn't work for you.